Well, in every big project, there are always surprises. That's true in Washington County in a big effort to improve the water quality of the Tualatin River. Now, the project to restore uh, the wetlands near Gaston between Highway 47 and Spring Hill Road on land that's really been farmed for decades. But our Dan Tilken shows us the surprise that was discovered underground that's put the project way behind schedule. Now it's a nicely curving uh, creek the way creeks are supposed to. On 250 acres of pasture. And then these wood structures, large wood structures, also slow the flow of the water down. Metro and Clean Water Services have been working a long time to make this a place that benefits both animals and people. Any surprises you ran into? Oh, every project is full of surprises. This one, you can see we're surrounded by these piles of tires. Lots and lots of truck tires. They were buried underground decades ago by the farmer who used to own the land. They're like all snug next to each other, right? Yeah. Jessica Bucciarelli says they were arranged in rows. So imagine that each of one of these little lifesavers is actually a large used truck tire. Okay. They're underground and they're lined up like this. And if you imagine, water could travel through the center of this tube. From drone video they gave us, you can see the tires crisscross the property. It's something they knew they would have to deal with, kind of. The big surprise for us was that there was not one row of tires, but two rows of tires on each part of the thing. So we ended up being the proud owners of twice as many tires as we expected. 4,000? Yeah, that was the estimate, was about 4,000. And the piles have been here much longer than expected. Tires are an eyesore. To the frustration of neighbor Steve Sullivan. You see 4,000 truck tires on a scenic highway and you, you talk to your neighbors and everybody wants to see it go away. It turns out finding someone to take this many tires is tough. We're really limited to one landfill location that can only take one or two truckloads a day. So we're moving just as quickly as we can. But now the end of the tire surprise is in sight and the project will soon be able to do its job. Letting nature do great work for us and cooling water that we'd otherwise have to invest energy into cooling, providing great wildlife habitat, but also accommodating continuing to have a, a productive farm on the, the, the highest and driest land here. So that nice balance of human endeavors and natural endeavors. Do you agree this is a pretty cool project though? I agree, I, I do. I think they're doing a, a really nice job. Tires and all. In Gaston, Dan Tilkin, Coin 6 News. A little more information. The cost to buy the land was almost $2 million. The restoration project, $375,000. And both are paid for by a voter approved bond back in 2006. And Metro says all those tires should be gone within the next couple of weeks. That's a lot of tires. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> well